This is a quick two minute video on the Broadview neighborhood in Seattle. The Broadview neighborhood is located in North Seattle. It goes from Northwest 105th Street until Northwest 145th Street and from Greenwood Avenue North until Puget Sound. The Broadview neighborhood averages about 120 home sales per year. This graph shows us the median sales price of a home in Broadview over the past 10 years. In 2016, the median sales price of a home in Broadview was $648,000. One year ago in 2015, the median sales price was $562,500. Therefore, we've seen 15% appreciation over the past year. 10 years ago in 2006, the median sales price was $411,500. Therefore, we've seen 57% appreciation over the past 10 years. Our Seattle market bottomed out in 2011. In 2011, the median sales price was $401,000. Therefore, we've seen 62% appreciation over the past five years. The Broadview neighborhood was given its name because of its panoramic views of Puget Sound and the Olympic Mountains. Farmers began to settle the Broadview neighborhood in 1889, right after the Seattle Great Fire. They had to float their goods into Seattle through Puget Sound because there are no roads at the time. The Broadview neighborhood is home to two iconic parks. Carkeek Park occupies the southwest corner of Broadview and E.B. Dunn Gardens, which was designed by the Olmsted firm, who designed many of Seattle's famous landmark parks, is also situated in the Broadview neighborhood. These gardens can be toured by reservation only. On the western edge of Broadview, there is a bluff, and below the bluff is a railway. The railway is run by the Burlington Nash Santa Fe Railway, which runs its main line along Puget Sound here. Then Broadview was annexed into the city of Seattle in 1954. And the rest is history. Until next time, Seattle, Steve Lovastu.